Hello YouTube fans and otherwise. Um, I needed to make this video, it's really important that I get off the word um, of why Trump has won the 2020 US presidential election. <clears throat> and I looked it up all online to get my numbers correct. Now, um, the Associated Press has not called it for Trump. They called it for Joe Biden. But I am calling it for Trump, and here's my reasons why. So of the swing states that are still counting their votes, we needed four of them. In particular, we needed to win for Trump to win, uh, for Donald Trump to win. We needed Arizona, we needed Georgia, we needed Pennsylvania, and we needed Wisconsin. If he just has those four states, and he needs all four of them, um, then instead of Trump having 232 electoral votes and Joe Biden winning with 306 votes, Trump would have taken 289 votes and won by a margin, whereas Biden would only have 249 votes without those states. And... <clears throat> Arizona would have given Trump 11 um, votes. Georgia would have given Trump 16 votes. Pennsylvania would have given him 20. And Wisconsin would have given him 10. So Trump won Arizona back in 2016 against Hillary Clinton uh, with a huge margin of 91,234 votes. Whereas Biden is only winning Arizona by 10,457 votes. Something is definitely wrong in Arizona. Um, Georgia, Trump won by a huge margin of 211,000 vote, 141 votes. In uh, 2016 uh, against Hillary Clinton, whereas Biden is only winning that state by 12,284 votes. Something is definitely wrong. Uh, Trump should be winning in Georgia right now. Um, Trump should be winning in Pennsylvania because he won it in 2016 by a huge margin of 44,292 votes, whereas Biden uh, is winning by d almost double that 81,361 votes. No, Trump should be winning in Pennsylvania right now. And finally, Wisconsin. Um, Biden is winning by 20,600 and either 68 or six or eight votes. Whereas in the 2016 election, Trump won it by a landslide of 22,748 votes. So I'm calling all four of those states for Trump. He should be ha he should be winning in all four of those states. He campaigned hard in them. Um, it would seem, however, unfortunately for Trump, where as in Michigan, he had won that state in 2016 against Hillary Clinton by a narrow margin of 10,704 votes. Um, he's losing to Joe Biden in that state by 155,629 or 79 or 39 votes. Um, so Biden is winning that state by a huge margin. Nevada, unfortunately, it would seem that Trump has lost that state. Um, he, he lost it to Hillary by 33,596 votes in 2016. But, uh, this time it looks like he's he didn't get the state of Nevada for some reason because Biden wants to shut the state of Nevada's economy down in, inevitably. I don't see why five, Biden is winning by 500, 512,058 votes. Uh, it seems like Biden is winning for some strange reason in Nevada and I'm calling Nevada for Joe Biden. I'm calling New Hampshire for Joe Biden. Hillary just barely won it in 2000 by in 2016 by 
a narrow margin of 2,735 votes, according to Wikipedia. Whereas Biden is winning that state by 59,275 votes. Uh, I'm sure that those votes are all legitimate, most of them probably. And unfortunately, I, no, I don't think we can call New Hampshire for Donald Trump. Unless they can prove voter fraud, substantial voter fraud in any of those three states that I just listed, the, the, the Hillary one, or one that Donald Trump had won, but now Biden is winning in 2016 and 2020. Um, so Trump should have 289 electoral college votes. That's more than enough votes he needs to win. He must not concede the election because he should have won those four states. Um, he won them last time. He should be winning them again. There's no reason why he shouldn't be winning those four states again. Um, so... The 232 electoral votes for Trump and the 306 uh, votes for Joe Biden are fake. This election, in my opinion, is definitely rigged. Um, you know, they're just now discovering all these votes for Trump that either were hidden or just lost by mistake. How many other votes have been lost by mistake? Um... Now the counting of these numbers is at ninety nine percent in all of all of these four states I mentioned, plus the three states that um, Joe Biden is one. Or uh, the counting is at ninety nine percent. So not only do we believe that there have been fake ballots cast for Joe Biden in these states, enough of them for him to win them. And it would have been very easy for him to have gotten 10,000 in fake votes in Arizona, 12,000 fake votes in Georgia, 81,000 fake votes in Pennsylvania, and 20,000 fake votes in Wisconsin. It would have been very easy for them to have done that. Now, why do I say they're fake? Because they haven't let us, they haven't let the auditors for the Republicans, especially in Pennsylvania, as far as I know, they didn't let them anywhere near to see the, the work that was going on, what kind quality of votes were going on. There hasn't been auditing. There were massive instances where Joe Biden was getting a whole bunch of votes for him and none for Trump. That isn't a natural statistical possibility. Um, and I haven't completely researched all of the instances where if they said there was voter fraud, but they've probably dumped a lot of votes that should have been going to Trump somewhere. Um, but regardless of the evidence that can or can't be presented in a court of law, Trump cannot concede this election to Joe Biden, um, because the Electoral College, um, votes he won in 2016, he should have definitely won enough of those votes again in 2020, except for Michigan, which certainly seems to have gone to Joe Biden. He's not going to win Nevada. Uh, he lost it to Hillary before. He lost it to Joe Biden. He's not going to win New Hampshire. He's lost too many votes in New Hampshire. Um, and I just needed to get this word out. This is not over. Um, you know, Joe Biden is slightly winning the popular vote by a good margin, but again, the election is not about the popular vote. Um, this election is about the electoral college and, um, we need, we need a fair election this time because the numbers are so, so narrow of a victory that even the smallest voter fraud would have swung the election. Um, and I believe there's voter fraud in all 
four of, of these states in Arizona, Georgia, Pennsylvania, and Wisconsin. Um, and it, it would certainly seem that way because the numbers are so narrow. And they were so in Trump's favor in 2016 when he won against Hillary. So don't give up hope yet. This election is not over. Trump, my message to you is don't concede the election. Um, if anything, the vote, if, if the Supreme Court doesn't want to cast throughout all the, the ballots that uh, they were, that the um, um, poll um, reviewers weren't allowed to see, uh, up close, like six feet uh, feet away instead of like they were made to go stand a lot of feet away. Well, you can't audit the ballots if you can't see the ballots. Um, so the Supreme Court can overturn the decision of the court, of the lesser court, which was it. they interpreted the law to mean that because no distance was specified in the law to begin with, that it was okay for the pollsters to be um, held back quite quite a ways. Um, so if the Supreme Court doesn't want to um, cast the election results in favor of Trump, then Trump needs to take the election to Congress and have Congress vote on them. Each state, uh, each state in Congress gets one vote. And uh, there might be enough Republicans holding that vote for Trump to win still. Um, and that's the way I see it. If the Democrats don't like that, too bad. They shouldn't have allowed mail-in vo voting to be um, the primary source for votes in this election. Um, they should have only have allowed it in some small certain instances, not and and they should have allowed everyone to go to the polls and vote. Whereas the polls, you can't lie in a in um, a ballot you cast in person. Um, you can't skew those results, um, to my knowledge. If you can, it would it'd be very strange because they have control over their their machines. I hope they would have control over their machines. Um, but this mail-in ballot stuff is garbage. They, you could see who voted, if you were a Republican or Democrat, on the outside of the ballot, at least in the states that I know of. So those, voter, those votes cast for Trump could have been thrown out because they could see the, your Republican affiliation on, your, on the ballot or not counted. Uh, from the get-go, not even opened or discarded. Um, um, a, a U.S. presidential election this close, uh, with margins in, in four states by this much, cannot be um, skewed by the possibility of a rigged election. And you know what? The Democrats complained for four years that Russia had interfered in the election. And if they can... Um, complained for four years about a rigged election by Russia, um, then Trump can certainly not concede the election because of these phony, this phony mail-in ballots um, um, fiasco. Um, people voting who are dead, um, those ballots should not be counted either. All of these votes that are coming in from dead people should not be counted. Um, and that's the way I see it. They've been trying to get rid of Trump. Um, I see no reason why we should trust the, the vote counters in these four states um, to give us a fair election. Um, clearly, they're working for Joe Biden to get him elected at all costs and at all fraud and at all uh, media suppression. Uh, I don't care if, if um, the network of uh, Fox News has called it for Trump. Um, they're run by, they're owned by a liberal Democrat. Uh, and that's the way I see things. 
I think Trump will, has um, has a mandate to go back and serve another four years uh, in this election, just like he did in the last election. And uh, thank you all for seeing me out um, to this conclusion. And congr my congratulations is to Donald Trump. He, he said he won the election that election night, and I know he did. And all the other states that were mattered to him, he has gathered more votes than ever be in any previous election. Uh, in Florida and Texas, he gathered a lot more votes than he did in 2016. Quite a bit more votes in those states. Um, he he's got he he's gathered a lot more votes than he won in the popular election in 2016 as well. Uh, more people turned out to vote for Trump than ever before, and my congratulations is to him. My my now if when it goes to the electoral college. I am urging the delegates in Arizona, in Georgia, in Pennsylvania, and Wisconsin to hand their votes over to Donald Trump and not to Joe Biden because the delegates in those states have the power to vote for whoever they want. Uh, still, the Supreme Court has not made it so they can't vote for who they, for the person of their choosing. And the narrow margins, there's a mandate for Trump to win in those four states. Maybe Trump lost in Michigan, Nevada, and New Hampshire that they're still counting. The delegates certainly wouldn't have to vote for him because Hillary won those states. The Democrats won those states, the presidential seat in 2016. So maybe the delegates don't have to vote for him in those three states. But I'm urging the delegates to stand behind last uh, year's election or last year uh, Four, four years ago election and um, give their votes again, once again, for just another four more years to Donald Trump. And to me, that's the fair thing to do in this election. That's the only fair thing. The Republicans cannot concede this election to Joe Biden. We're not required to concede this election to Joe Biden. We're required to exhaust all legal means in our disposal because the, of this election is that close. And now there's this mail-in Vote, voter ballots, um, which what didn't exist to this extent. They were afraid of getting sick by Corona, but it was just a ploy of um, the New World Order, One World Government, to um, and the Democrats and, and um, Barack Obama. Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton want the White House. They want to take control. It'll be a disastrous four more years if by Joe Biden wins and shuts down our economy in the United States for good, um, take care.